and the school that you teach at. My name's Carolyn Mortimer. I teach at Shalik High School in Centerton, New Jersey. Okay. And tell me about the piece, Goodbye uh, Manhattan, Hello London. Can't read my handwriting. <laughs> How did that piece come about? Well, I had a lovely author come to me in her 80s and asked me to do four children's books over the course of four summers. And this was the final book that I did with her. The plot is a young girl whose parents live in Manhattan, her mother's a photographer, her father's a journalist. They're reassigned to a small town outside of London where the mode of transportation is bicycles and pony carts. And Bethany's very, very upset about leaving Manhattan, so on the cover I had to try and catch the whimsy of her nostalgia, but also that little bit of excitement about the unknown. So you have the symbols for the Guggenheim and an apple on the sign and that whole rush of Manhattan I actually pull the street lights with my fingers and then hidden in her hair as you look closer is that unknown in the wind in the air the British flag. Oh, yeah. It was a very beautiful painting and um, I understand she sat for you. Yeah that, the little girl was actually the uh, younger sister of my uh, youngest daughter's boyfriend and she was hanging out with me for the summer anyway I was babysitting and so we had a really great time. Did that present any challenges? Usually having a, ch a child sit or interviewing children tends to have a unique challenge to them. Well, that's where the educator in me came into play. <laughs> I would keep my palettes from the day's work and let her play with them, so lots of times she was working on something and then I would groom her and coach her for what I needed her to do with the pose, and she would literally just leave what she was doing creatively and strike the pose very quickly, so I felt that left some of that spontaneity in, in the photo shoot that I was working from, and uh, the, my favorite thing though is the color in her eyes. I would like to add something. That summer I was in a very bad automobile accident, and the month of July I had two neck vertebrae fused. I couldn't drive the month of July and this is for all of those artists who work best under pressure. In the month of August I had 23 canvases to do. The last week of the summer I still had that cover piece and two canvases and a woman in her 50s can still pull an all-nighter because I did two canvases, stayed up all night and that was my finished piece by dawn. And it looks beautiful and you would never ever What's that even... song from the 80s under pressure? <laughs> right? I love the 80s. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Well, I'm not done. <laughs> I wanted to know what advice you would give to young artists. How do you inspire the children that you teach? Uh, well, my one motto is time is art. Uh, if they think that they want to become an artist, then they have to be able to find the time, make the time, and sacrifice the time. Good voice, good words. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. <laughs>